सो हेलो एवरी वन सो एज पर यूर ह्यूज डिमांड यू आर वेटिंग फॉर दिस आई नो दैट बट सो सॉरी दैट आई वेटेड यू बट नाउ आई हैव ब्रॉड यू ऑल द सोल्यूशन फॉर डी एस पी मॉडल क्वेश्चन पेपर ओके मॉडल क्वेश्चन पेपर कंप्लीटली आई हैव सॉल्व ऑल ऑफ द सोल्यूशन फ्रॉम दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू प्रोवाइड इट टू यू ऑल सो प्लीज बिफोर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो माई हम्बल रिक्वेस्ट इज लाइक दिस वीडियो देन प्रोसीड फर्दर Again, whatever questions I discuss here are uh, very, very important ones. Okay, the, from module one, I know that I have not done uh, module one, so that's why I, have, I will be trying to explain along with this uh, question solely the module one concept. Okay, and some of the introduction part that is pending that I'll do it later. Okay, so from module one, we are having uh, uh, three questions uh, uh, of you know, in the first uh, so question, three sub questions, one A, one B, one C. So one by one, we are going to do that. So again. uh please uh, like this video share this uh, dsp model paper videos to a huge number and say them that we have pro provided the videos okay so within tomorrow we are going to provide this pdf as well okay so stay tuned for that as well it would be available in the description so without wasting much time uh, as you all have been waiting for let us start with the model paper solutions okay from module 1 1a first question determine the energy and power of the unit step sequence okay this is the first question so this would be asked for a uh, five marks i guess i don't know the weightage okay that you clarify it later so this is the first question from the model paper first define the unit step sequence the unit step sequence is defined as the following you know that unit step sequence is u of n u of n is defined as it is one for all the values of n which is greater than or equal to 0 that is it is a constant with amplitude 1 for all the values of n greater than or equal to 0 and it is 0 for all the values of n which is negative that is less than 0 so this is the definition of unit step sequence right now energy of the signal so be uh, listen carefully the formula to calculate an energy of a signal is given by e is equal to summation of n tending from minus infinity to plus infinity the given input sequence its modulus this modulus represents that the input sequence should be always positive okay so all the negative values it should be converting it to positive so that is modulus of x of n the whole square so this is the energy of the signal okay so in this case the value of x of n is equal to u of n okay so e is equal to now here the summation limits change from 0 to infinity because uh, according to definition we know that for all the negative values it the uh, Uh, answer would be zero, right? So that's why from minus infinity to minus one, the all the values of u of n would be zero. So though that would be vanishing. So we would be keeping the limits up to zero to infinity. Okay, that is modulus of u of n the whole square, and we know that the value of u of n is one according to the definition. Substitute that. So e is equal to summation of n equal to zero to infinity one square, which is one. So we don't have any values of n. So that's why only one would be repeating here up till infinity. So that's why we can say that the energy of this particular unit step sequence is equal to infinity. Okay. So this was about the energy of the signal. Next is power of the signal. power of the signal is represented as the formula is p is equal to limit when where n tends to infinity where n is the length of the any sequence of x of n okay so here we don't have any particular length mentioned so we can uh, directly write it as n tending to infinity 1 divided by 2n plus 1 summation of n tending from minus n to plus n x of n the whole square Again, substitute the necessary terms. That is, u of n, x of n is u of n. Substitute that. So p is equal to limit n tending to infinity. One divided by two n plus one. Summation n equal to zero to n. Again, I have told you right for u of n from all the negative values are neglected. So that's why the limits are only positive. So n is equal to zero to n till one. Okay. Next is again uh, we are having that uh, u of n is one. So substitute that. So again one would be repeating here. That is one plus one plus one plus one. It goes on up till n. So that's why it is n plus one times. Okay. So we can directly write it as summation of n equal to zero to n is uh, directly we can write it as that is equal to n plus one because the uh, end limit is till n. Till n it goes on. So that's why n plus one. Okay. Yeah. Now substitute that uh, in the uh, equation of power. That is limit n tending to infinity. One divided by two n plus one into this term we are having, we are having, right? That we write it as n plus one. So we are getting p is equal to limit n tending to infinity n plus one divided by two n plus one. So now here what I am taking is I am taking n common here. 
okay in both these terms and i'm dividing it so that's why what you are getting uh, p is equal to limit n tending to infinity n plus 1 by n divided uh, divided by 2n plus 1 by n i'm multiply i'm dividing numerator as well as denominator by n okay so that what we would be getting limit n tending to infinity so here uh, take the lcm and take the common terms outside so we, we would be left with 1 plus 1 by n divided by 2 plus 1 by n okay so now uh, apply this limit n tends to infinity so in place of n write infinity so we would be getting 1 plus 1 by infinity divided by 2 plus 1 by infinity so anything divided by infinity is 0 so that's why we would be getting 1 plus 0 divided by 2 plus 0 so our power of the signal is 1 by 2 okay for a unit step sequence so therefore we can say conclude by saying that energy of the signal uh, is infinity for a unit step sequence and the power of the signal is half for the unit step sequence okay so this is a procedure to solve so uh, uh, here we have uh, noted down two key points that is two formulas of uh, calculating energy and power of the signal so please note it down and uh, write this question okay so yeah, let's get to the next question now next question is 1b so again this is a very important question please listen to it very carefully if you want to understand okay so this question is uh, this would be asked for around 10 marks okay Consider an LTI system. LTI stands for Linear Time Invariant System, okay, which is in the one concept of module one. LTI system with input x of n and impulse response h of n given below, okay. That is, they have given the input and as well as the impulse response. So we should be computing y of n for x of n is equal to two power n into u of minus n and h of n is equal to u of n. So this is all the terms given here. So based on this, we should be drawing few plots in order to understand these two sequences. Okay, what are those actually? First thing is, uh, draw a plot of 2 power n. Okay, uh, we know that 2 power n is a uh, basic exponential plot, right? So what I'm doing is, I'm substituting the various values of n that is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, along one, some positive as well as some negative values which tends from minus infinity to plus infinity, okay? So this is a 2 power n plot where 2 powers, if you consider n value as 0, so 2 power 0 is 1, right? So that's why I plotted 1. So if the value is 1, so 2 power n is 2. If the value of n is 2, then it is 4, then 2 cube is 8 and so on. And also for the negative values, that is 2 inverse, 2 power minus 1, that is 1 by 2. 2 power minus 2 that is 1 by 4 1 by 8 and goes on up to minus infinity okay so this is the basic exponential plot here then next is next draw the plot of x of n okay before that we have one more plot of u of minus n so we know that what is u of n u of n is a unit step sequence which has the fixed amplitude 1 okay but here in this case we are having the value of n as minus n so it indicates that for all the negative values uh, the definition reverses how we had for u of n for u of n for all the negative values the uh, plot the answer should be zero right in this for all the negative values that is for all the values of n less than or equal to zero it is one and for greater than or equal to zero it is zero okay so that's why here the u of n plot would be shifted like this that is for all the negative uh, positive values will be turned to negative and negative would be turned to positive so that's why all the negative values are one in this case so now x of n is the multiplication of these two right so that's why what we have done is we are simply multiplied that is uh, the this positive plot if you multiply with uh, this is zero right so you would be getting in this uh, full plot it as zero and if you multiply one into one that is one half half into one half one by four into one one by four one by eight and goes on okay so this is the basic plot of x of n okay similarly try draw the plot of x of k and h of n minus k in order to calculate y of n okay so in an LTI system in order to compute for y of n we should be doing the convolution okay so here in this case they have given the impulse response so that's why the formula would be like this y of n is equal to summation k tending from uh, minus infinity to plus infinity x of k into h of n minus k okay first draw the plots of x of k nothing much to do in uh, replace n variable by k variable so that's why that one change you do and plot the x of k plot okay and h of n minus k would be same as u of n okay so now we are having two conditions that is for n less than 0 and n greater than or equal to 0 we would be having two di different plots of h of n minus k because uh, the overlapping would be taking place 
So first thing, uh, h of n minus k plot for n less than zero. Okay, that is you should be taking the values of n less than zero in any any point uh, as you wish. So here I have taken from two. The amplitudes would be one according to the definition of uh, impulse response. Okay, so here I in this value and when n is equal to minus two, I have taken n. And if you observe x of k and h of n minus k plot, the overlapping takes place. Okay, for all the n, uh, uh, for all the values uh, up to n. So that's why the limits now in this formula for n less than zero would be from k is equal to minus infinity. So here again minus infinity till minus n because after. Till minus n. Here in this case, it is minus two. After minus two, minus one, zero. The uh, there would be no overlapping taking place. So that's why the the answer would be zero. Okay. So that would be the limits for first stage for n less than zero. In the formula, you should be changing that. That is y of n is equal to k equal tending from infinity minus infinity to n x of k into h of n minus k. So y of n is equal to x of k is to two power k. Okay. Into h of n minus k is one, as you have seen. So now what you should be doing is this is the general form, a uh, mathematical expression that is summation of k is equal to zero to infinity uh, alpha to the power k is equal to is uh, is uh, given as one divided by one minus alpha. We should be bringing it uh, this term into this form. Okay, for that we should be making some change because we are having the limits from zero to infinity, but here we are having from minus infinity to n. How we can uh, replace it? We should be doing some of the replacements by putting uh, let l is equal to minus k. Okay, if you put l is equal to minus k, so if in this case we are having k as minus infinity, so uh, l is, is equal to minus k, so that's why it is the reverse. So l would be equal to infinity. K k is equal to n, so l is equal to minus n. So replace that limits. So l would be tending from infinity to minus n, two power minus l because k is equal to minus l. That is equal to l is equal to. Now I have interchanged the limits from minus n to infinity, two power minus l. Okay. Now again, I'm uh, I, sh I should be bringing it to this form, right? So that's why here I'm taking let l plus n. So we have l is equal to minus n. So l plus n is equal to m. So if l is equal to minus n, then m would be equal to zero here, right? Then if l is equal to infinity, m also for uh, 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 infinity plus anything would be infinity only. Yeah. So now uh, change the limits from m is equal to zero to infinity, two to the power minus of l. Okay. L here we can write from from here we can get the value of l as m minus n right so 2 to the power minus of m minus n so again uh, split it and write it like this so here 2 power n is common take it outside so the summation of m is equal to 0 to 2 here to 2 here. we are remaining with 2 to the power minus m so i'm taking 2 inverse common whole to the power m so it would be now in this form okay now here 2 power n into uh, 1 divided by 1 minus alpha in place of alpha we are having 2 inverse okay so to make that change 2 power n into 1 divided by 1 minus or uh, 2 inverse can be written as 1 by 2 so if you take the lcm here it would be 2 minus 1 whole divided by 2 this 2 would be going to the uh, numerator so we would be left with 2 power n into 2 so that is equal to 2 to the power n plus 1 so this is the value of y of n for n less than 0 okay but the one condition is satisfied. Now let us see the value of y of n for n greater than or equal to zero. For n greater than or equal to zero, the plot would be like this. That is the n value you should be taking uh, in, in, at any point where n is greater than zero. So here I have taken at uh, plus two here. So this is the plot drawn. So here if you see, compare x of k and h of n minus k. Here uh, the overlapping would be taking place uh, in, at, at zero itself. Okay. From zero, the overlapping would be taking place. So now the limits would be changed to k is equal to minus infinity to zero, two power k into one. Okay. Now do the necessary solving here again. K equal to oh, minus infinity to zero, two power k into one. Y of n is equal to k equal to zero to minus infinity. I have just uh, replaced the uh, limits. Okay. So k equal to zero to infinity. So here minus infinity was there. I have made it plus infinity, and here two power k I have replaced it by two to the power minus k. I have just taken the inverse of it okay so that's why we would be getting this in the general form so y of n again it would be 1 divided by 1 minus 1 by 2 so if you solve it we would be getting our answer as 2 okay so this is the value of n for n greater than or equal to 0 so we have two values of y of n that is uh, y of n is equal to 2 to the power n plus 1 for uh, n less than 0 and it is 2 for n greater than 0 okay using this condition draw the plot of y of n that is 
uh, n tends from minus infinity to plus infinity and uh, for n greater than or equal to 0 that is from 0 onwards till infinity the uh, the value of y of n is 2 right so it is constant 2 and for n less than 0 that is 2 to the power n plus 1 okay that is uh, if you take n value as minus 1 that would be equal to minus 1 plus 1 that is 0 2 to the power 0 is 1 so this is the 1 next is if you take the n value as minus 2 minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1 that is 2 inverse 2 inverse is 1 by 2 or 0 0.5 0 0.25 and it goes on okay so this is the plot so hope these two questions are clear so please do solve these two questions very carefully very important questions do like share subscribe to our channel uh, we will spread this video to a huge number do watch this video till the end because you need to understand these kind of problems okay let us see you in the next session with uh, some more questions okay so that's all thank you